When it comes to the topic of mechanical ventilation, as a respiratory therapist, we often focus all of our attention on adult patients. With that said, it's just as important to understand the concepts of delivering ventilatory support for infants and neonatal patients as well. To help, we created this quick video just to provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. What is neonatal mechanical ventilation? Simply put, it refers to the process of providing ventilatory support for infants. This process is different than mechanical ventilation in adults because neonates are anatomically different. They also have different normal values as well as different physiological needs. Not to mention, providing mechanical ventilation in infants will require different tools, supplies, and techniques as well. This is why it's important for respiratory therapists to understand the key differences between the two. One obvious concept to remember is that infants have much smaller lungs. I mean, of course they do, right? This is important because it also means that they have higher airway resistance, lower lung compliance, and less surface area for gas exchange to occur. Not to mention, Neonates have lower cardiovascular reserve than adults as well, which makes them more susceptible to a rapid onset of respiratory distress. Now let's talk about the indications for neonatal mechanical ventilation. If a neonatal patient can't breathe on their own, that's when mechanical ventilation is needed. But to be more specific, here are some examples of the most common indications. Apnea, bradycardia, ventilatory failure, severe hypoxemia, extreme prematurity, poor muscle tone, unresponsive to stimulus, cyanosis, a low APGAR score, the need for surfactant replacement therapy, and if meconium is present at birth. Keep in mind that there may be other indications for mechanical ventilation in neonates. These are just some of the most common examples. But once it has been decided that neonatal mechanical ventilation is needed, what's the point? What are the goals of mechanical ventilation in neonates? Well, the common general goals include to provide adequate ventilation, to provide adequate oxygenation, to achieve adequate lung volumes, to improve lung compliance, to reduce work of breathing, and to limit lung injuries. Keep in mind that mechanical ventilation in newborns is a very serious therapeutic measure that could be life-threatening. This is why, if possible, you could try to administer non-invasive ventilatory support instead. Nasal CPAP is often a great option for neonates because it's less invasive and there are fewer complications with this type of therapy. However, it's common for the condition of an infant to continue to get worse after nasal CPAP has been administered, which means that intubation and mechanical ventilation would likely be indicated in order to provide more support. Once mechanical ventilation has been initiated, it's important to know that pressure control is the most widely used mode in neonates and pediatric patients. This mode allows you to preset the peak inspiratory pressure, or PIP, in order to deliver a desired tidal volume, which helps prevent overinflation of the tiny lungs of an infant. High frequency ventilation is often used in neonates as well and is effective because it provides very small tidal volumes at a very fast frequency. This also helps prevent barrel trauma as well. Some of this stuff can be very complex, so we're going to break it down into much more detail in separate videos. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.